Hey, what's up? It's Lambert Rock Struck once again. And today I'm going to do a, trailer, I'll do a reaction to Mom, Venus and Verb, Venus, Venus and Verb, I'm making Tire Secrets Mean 7. Did expect this to come out today, so I did one this morning for Mean 6, now I'm doing it for Mean 7. I wonder how many means it's going to make in total. Holy shit. So I was really going to do the Fairy Parents rant from his reaction today, but I decided I'll do it tomorrow or the weekends. We'll have to wait and see. Let's get started, and the way we go, and this is a house of mouse relative. Ooh, let's watch. Let's start the video, shall we? And the way we go. Look, guys, it's the house of Lamborock Strikes Back. Me. And all the characters from Rick and Morty, except for Tammy, all come to join to come to come to the House of Lambert Rocks, including all the characters from Bob's Burgers, except for Logan Bush. He's the worst character of Bob's Burgers because he stole Lewis's bunny ears. And of course, all the characters from Big Mouth, except for Andrew's dad. He's he's the only bad character I hate in Big Mouth. I went to go to House of Lambert Rocks Strikes Back and see who making reviews or ends. Ooh! And guess who's the host, guys? I'm the host. The House of Lambert Rocks Strikes Back. Ooh! Let's start it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and people of all ages, now presenting the king of YouTube! That's me, guys! Yes, I do love Phineas, Phineas and Ferb. That was a huge part of my childhood. And I've been watching the show recently. I've been binging watching Phineas and Ferb recently on Disney Plus, watching random episodes because. After watching Candace, Candace Against the Universe, he actually may want to go back and rewatch some of the episodes. Teen Titans, Chowder, Puzzle Magic Band, The Simpsons, and you guys know the best. Yeah, I don't watch The Simpsons nowadays because I like only like the old episodes, but the new season fucking. The new, the, I, I only like the old Sims. I only like the old Simpsons episodes, but the new, but the new season fucking sucks. They could have ended off in a movie. Lamarox strikes back. That's me, guys. Thank you, guys. That's me, you guys. <laughs> of all, I'm a boy, but but it's my avatar. I can see Lincoln Loud, Candace Gertrude Flynn, and Timmy Turner. It would be nice if we see some characters from Rick and Morty and Bob's Burgers in, in Big Mouth, but this is really nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Can you read two of the Life of Brian and to rent on the episode? Oh, of course, I can do a rant on Life of Brian. Let's wish I was done by watching the episode. It seems today. Yeah. That's Family Guy, guys. Great show, but it should have ended up for season 10. I mean, I only, I only, I only like the first 10 seasons, but season 11 onwards. <laughs> Garbage. Later. Oh, God. Oh, God. I have yet to do a rant on this, but I will rant it eventually. Much better. Let's do a rant on Life of Brian and show this on this screen. Later. Let's watch it and away we go! Rebo! 20 and television! Come in! And no, uh, I this is not my rant, this is me up. Oh hey there, how can I help you? Family guy! Your show is going downhill nowadays. Sorry guys, back on scene. <laughs> Why is that? Labarock strikes back, aka the one who lost Big Mouth, Rick and Morty, and Bob's Burgers. Yes, I'm watching Life of Brian. This is officially the final nail of the coffin. This is the Family worst episode guy. of the show. I this hate the main Life of Brian so much. That is the worst funny episode I've ever seen in my life. Okay, then explain what I do. I'm doing around the show right now, so let's get this started. Before I start this, friend, let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a there was a show called Family Guy. It was once a fantastic show back in the first ten seasons by giving us the daughter, and that's when this is back when the show was a mean spirit, and it wasn't like very apparent season nine, ten, and the new episodes of the Loud House. Later, Lambo Rock strikes back, and you make fun of your worst South Park episode, The Return of Chef. Or of course. Oh that's God, the Return of Chef from South Park. I just this episode so much sorry guys it's just the um, ambulance in the background so apologies that back I was saying guys oh Tom scream on oh, Tom and Jerry this has got to be one of the worst South Park episode if 
I mean, that like, episode was so bad that I nearly stopped watching South Park because of that episode. It was that bad, I almost stopped watching the show. I like the first 20 seasons. Season 20, season 21 onwards, eh. Don't really care for the season 21 onwards, but just season 21 onwards just, eh, wasn't great, but it's okay. But I prefer the old episodes. The first 20 episodes, 20 seasons were great. Well, 19. What if it isn't for a minute Effie across the second dimension, Mark? It would be a fantastic finish to an awesome show. And I will say this in my review. But honestly, guys, I need to be really honest. I... This could have been the series finale. Fears and Verb. Yeah, I mean, what if, if they Fears and Verb across second dimension was the series finale to the TV show? And they put it in cinemas instead of Disney Plus, Disney Channel, Disney Channel original movie. That'll be interesting, but if it ended after the movie, then it would be a great finale to the finish. But to be honest, after the movie was released, I'll never forget this day I first watched this movie on Disney Channel. I had a major blast watching it on back in 2011. After the movie, it would have been like the perfect finale to Fears and Verb. I mean, kind of like the Simpsons movie, like... This movie felt like the series finale to a TV show. Like, kind of like the Simpsons movie, that, that, that film really feels like a, a one big finale. Sorry guys, back on scene. Because firstly, yeah, I still like the Simpsons. I mean, the Simpsons is, a, is an amazing, brilliant masterpiece of a TV show. But honestly, I will admit the show has overseen its walk. And, and honestly, that, that, the show could have ended after the movie. Yeah, I agree. But honestly, but I will with you the Simpsons in the future. So thank you for that, guys. But other than that, this could have been the series finale to be some verb. If this was series finale, this would have been like the perfect finale to be some verb. So yeah, I read some comments of like people saying, what if um, at the end of the movie, and if then finish some after the movie, it would have been a great finale, or at your age should have been the series fin could be the proper finale to the show, or some belongs to you. But when I was a kid, I thought some belongs to you was the final episode of the show, but eternity it wasn't. And yes, Sun Blocks to You is the best episode of Phineas and Verb. I adore that episode. Finale to a great show. And if I review on the Bad May Fair Parents theoretical release movie from Chapter 7 that Mr. Mims has to make, I will say this during, uh, before the end of the review. This could have been the series finale to Very Odd Parents. I mean, if they didn't end it after the movie, it would have been like the perfect finale. Just very odd parents. I mean, meanwhile, Jonathan Lemon, back in April. I want some ice cream. My dad, the House of Lemon, Rex strikes back. Amazing. My favorite part is when he said, Life of Ray was his final nail in the coffin for family values. And one of the return of Chap and his death nearly in Earth's 2007 movie was the series final. Honestly, he likes the season. I mean, it'd be sad if they're amazing. I think 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 they're amazing. So the back of the cinema again. What the hell? Well, guys, this has been a fantastic day. See you guys soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. Special effects? Yeah, cool, huh? Verb and I are warming up before we meet our special effects hero, Clive Addison, today at the science fiction and fantasy convention. That explains why you're dressed in costumes from Giant Losers the Musical. Actually, I'm dressed as Captain Lump Sharp Boy from Space Adventure 14. And Verb's dressed as Jaime Silverman, the elf prince from Stumbleberry, Fink Bat, and the Whining Wild. I remember this episode from Nerds of the Fell. The two biggest movie series of all time, and Clive Addison did the special effects for both. Ugh, stop being related to me, and take all your mirrors and zebras and jump. We're in there, you know. <laughs> That's all, folks. What a great video. So, anyway, we're going to hit, guys. Until next time, goodbye.